I'm David Saar, president of Saar Associates Incorporated. Today we are going to be talking about the integration of a Zigbee radio into an embedded application. We are going to be using this amplified Zigbee module for our demonstrations. First, we're going to look for regulatory compliance of the RF output. Then we're going to look at the performance with a correct and with an impaired DC power supply. Then we're going to look at the digital command that initiates the packet to be sure that that is correct. In this setup, we have the microcontroller board driving the radio board. The radio is on a carrier. We're monitoring this power supply voltage, the current, and we also have for later the digital signals being picked up. The RF signal is directly coupled to the module to the input to the scope. On the screen we see the voltage which depresses slightly during the packet, the current with an initial period during the startup, and then going to full current when the power amplifier is turned on. Here we see the spectrum during the initial period of the packet the occupied bandwidth is 2.4 megahertz, which is well within specification, and power at 16.7 dBm, again within specification. Now we've added some resistance in series with the power supply to simulate a weakened battery or a soft power supply. Now you can see that the voltage dips substantially more, approximately four times as much. The current rises to a little bit lower peak, and the output signal is a dB lower. This shows the effect very quickly of a power supply that is not adequate for powering this module. We have also attached the digital inputs to the oscilloscope from the SPI bus that's used to control the radio module. We can see the digital signals and the SPI bus decoded in this image. Now we've zoomed in to the control command that starts the packet. And we can see here the decode of 3701, which is the packet start. We have used the unique capability of the Tektronix MDO4000 oscilloscope to capture information from the Zigbee radio showing the power supply voltage and current as well as the RF spectrum under various conditions. We've also used the digital capability to display and decode the SPI commands that control the radio.